Hi everybody, welcome back to Go Big Borrow or Go Home, where recoil is required because we are the house of the rising gun. I'm your host Sean, and today we're taking a look at what four different bullet types in the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum can do to some ballistics gel. Now if you've been watching the channel for a while, a few years ago, we used these same four uh, loadings with these same four bullets against pumpkins. But today we're doing something a little bit more concrete with the ballistics gel. So our first loading is using a Matz bullet. It is a 535 grain semi wad cutter with a gas check. The second one is going to be Sierra Sportsmaster jacketed soft point with 400 grains of weight behind it. The third one is Hornady's FTX 300 grain bullet. And the final one is a Barnes X bullet at 275 grains loaded by Corban. It should be noted that Corban has moved since from, the, from their Barnes X bullet to their own DPX bullet. And we want to thank Healy, America's firearms provider, who provided the DPX ammunition. Oh, I'm sorry, the Barnes X bullet ammunition from Corban. Uh, we really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. So uh, without further ado, let's get out to the desert. Let's get the ballistics gel out. Let's get some shooting and let's have some fun. So you can see, I mean, it's a pretty good wound channel, too. That's pretty devastating. And it went all the way through and came out right here. So it didn't actually touch the bullet, uh, the table here, but I do think it scuffed it here. Uh, and it went right into the backstop. Pretty impressive. So we now know what the hard cast did. Not surprising. Let's try one of the other rounds. So we caught it. You can see we caught it, um, but it made this thing jump. It literally did like a whole 180. So I'm gonna straighten these back out real quick so we can measure the, our penetration. So there we go, got it lined up. So if you can see over here, um, this one hit here, just a little bit to the right, and it's, come look on top the bullets clearly had a, its own path so they didn't cross and you do see a bigger permanent wound cavity here. There's a little bit of jacket right there it comes all the way through and then stops here in the second block so let's take out our lovely little tape measure here and let's see how we did it looks like to me if you look the bullet actually kind of you know got retracted back a little the bullet's at about 26 and a half inches, but the actual wound cavity goes to right about 27 inches. So that's pretty impressive. So um, our bullet came over here, 
So it almost got as far as the uh, 400 grain soft point. Um, and it again flipped the <laughs> flipped the block again. So let me flip that back over. Uh, here we go. So let's take a good look at, at what this one has done. Now this has a tremendous wound cavity. It came in right here. And if you look, there's a piece of jacket here, here, and here. And then another piece of jacket here and here. So come on over the top. You can see the little uh, red point. Most of it's right here with another bit of lead. And the bullet just seems to have disintegrated. It just, lots of little lead pieces, another piece of that red tip. Some more lead came all the way here and then finally lodged here. Um, it looks like it expanded nicely. So let's, uh, let's get out the measuring tape. And the, the, the wound channel ends at the same spot this time where the bullet ended. And it looks right here, if you can get on top of it, looks like we're right at 26 inches. So just about an inch less of penetration, but still quite a bit. Um, one interesting thing to note is that the wound cavity, once it started entering the second block, is significantly smaller than our 400 grain jacketed soft point. Even the 500 grain, th uh, the 535 grain hard cast bullet had a bigger wound channel, so it started to lose a lot of its energy by this point. But if you look here at the beginning, it's just got this massive shrapnel coming off and the big, big wound channel right at the beginning. So it's really fascinating to me to see this did a lot of big energy damage up front, but petered out much more quickly. Okay, so, um, yeah, oh, we got a really good one. Ooh! Oh, this is a really beautiful wound channel. Let me put this back together. So, uh, if you come over to the front here, you can see the bullet entered over here on the left. Um, and we have this really amazing wound channel. You can see this bullet opened right on up and just really did exactly what it's supposed to. It expanded and had all this damage here. If you look carefully here, there's a, right here, there's a bit of jacket two pieces there that came off. It continued along here through the top, and there it is. Again, it seems to have expanded perfectly. It's uh, not quite as far into the block as our other two bullets, but let's get a measurement. All right, so this is at 25 and a half inches where the bullet stopped and the actual channel goes all the way to a penetration depth of 25 and three quarters. All right, so here are the three slugs out of the four we shot. Obviously with the 535 grain semi wad cutter slug going right through the gel, there was no way to recover it. But let's take a look at what we got. Now the first one we shot was our 400 grain Sierra, which is right here on the left. I'm going to pick that up. Now this thing just looks nasty. I mean, look at these sharp petals. It's just the way that this, uh, that this bullet, you know, just blossomed open. I mean, this is going to be a very damaging bullet. The thing I really like about this bullet is the way that it's got this strong base and it just retains this uh, big piece of bullet to keep the keep the, the, uh, the energy going and keep this, you know, penetrating through any kind of game. And let's talk the paper specs. It retained 390.1 grains of its weight. That is fantastic. Think about that. That's literally just 390.1. What is that? 9.9 .9 grains lost. Otherwise, the whole bullet stayed intact and did what it was supposed to do. At its widest point around the pedals, it expanded to 1.167 inches, guys. That's massive. And even without that, the lead core, this thing expanded to 0.836 inches. Very, very impressive performance. 
The next one is our 300 grain FTX bullet. Now, it's a pretty light bullet. It's got a good core here, keep going now, uh, to keep the bullet's uh, energy going. But I will admit, this, this bullet really isn't necessarily something on big game, you know, because it's, it's very frangible. And our data kind of shows that this one suffered the most loss in weight, down to 223.8 grains, over 75 grains of lead lost, and copper, obviously. It expanded the smallest to 0.664 inches. So, you know, it worked, it did what it's supposed to, but it just it didn't seem to really, really have the same, you know, impact. And our final one is our Barnes bullet. Now, it sheared off half its petals, three, and it kept these three intact. So that's gonna affect its expansion. But again, it's got this great driving core. This one did pretty good with its weight retention at 230.5 grains, so that's uh, almost 45 grains lost, uh, 44 and a half. And with these petals at its widest point, it was 0.8, sorry, it was 0.873 inches expanded to really do a lot of damage. Now, I will say, if you look at these petals, these things are just brutal looking. And I, I think that there's some truth to this. This would be a very good bullet too. It's just a shame it lost the three petals somewhere in the gel. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I hope you really enjoyed the use of the ballistics gel with these four different bullet types. Really gave us some interesting insight into what they can do and exactly what kind of penetration expansion you can expect. What I'd like to know is, if you watched the video all the way through the end, which bullet would you pick for a hunting trip? I have to admit, I love that 400 grain uh, jacketed soft point from Sierra, but that 535 grain semi wad cutter was unstoppable. It just went whoosh, right through the gel, and that cavitation bubble was really something. Very cool. But what would you prefer? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more content. If you didn't enjoy the video, thank you always. You know, we really do appreciate you giving us an opportunity and getting this far in the video. Thank you for, for giving us a chance. And as always, guys, go big boar or go home.